was comfortable. We know how to grow fodder, so we train our farmers, our clients, how to grow fodder, uh, how to store, make silage, maize silage, sun, uh, sweet potato silage, sunflower silage. Any kind of silage we are able to add value to design the silage bankers. I'm Maurice from Mugambi, from Mel County, uh, Mel South of County, when I want, in the Kumbuna location. I'm a daily farmer. I started keeping daily cows in 2015, up to date. My daily farm is Mori daily farm. I keep daily cows. I have uh, six daily cows, two heifers, and uh, four calves. I work at Fatana Natana Rock, I work at Wakakuja Kwa Farm Yangu. I work at the farm audit. I work at the farm audit. I work at the farm audit. Kau comfort mali pa kurala, ile nilikuwa nimejenga zero grazing yangu na vitu kama mambo ya maji na chakula vile nilikuwa nafanya ukanifunza mambo ya TMR changanya chakula nilikuwa na the required amounts in proteins energy and the starch ile inatakana minerals vitu kama hizo A farm audit is where you go to a farm you are able to identify the low hanging fruits you are able to identify the gaps within that farm. You are able to look at the farm biosecurity and biosafety process. You are able to look at the protein deficiency, energy deficiency, mineral deficiency. You are able to look at the cow comfort. Then once we do the initial farm visit, we are able to come back and relate with the farmer. And uh, most likely the second visit is free because we want to make greater impact. I started working with the Tanalop in early 2019 and they are working is excellent. Before they came in, as you know, it was a lot of The best cow was doing 20 liters, for now it is doing 40 liters. Actually, they have done uh, it. I recommend them for the good work they have done to my farm. I'm a Ziwa and 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 I'm a Ziwa nakamua mara tatu kwa siku nauza asubuhi saa saba na jioni before tano kwa kuje challenge ile ilikuwa sana ni cost of production ilikuwa natumia unga mingi sana na maziwa ni kidogo kwa sababu siku anaweza kupea zile vitu kama proteins the amount eh, zile zinatakikana siku anajua ngombe vile anafaa anafa kupimwa ndio uweze kujua the requirements they have to do as well. When we were in Tanarop, we told them that the protein of the protein of the protein of the protein of the protein throughout. So we had to look at the climate condition here. We had to look at the sweet potato vines and the black area because the baby is very good. We have a lot of protein in the compared to the Nepian grass. We can introduce it to the Omarons kato stage nafaa kwa sasa naenda kwa shamba tunaongea na mwenye shamba namwambia nitakata wakati huu kwa sababu ndio itakuwa na zaidi kwangu so mambo ya ya kununua huku nje nje bila inakuja simu na nijiona sasa nipande kwa shamba yangu tukate the cost kwa sababu chakula ya ngombe ndio bigari kuliko ya mtu ukienda kwa soko na kununua kama daily meal ni ya moja hapa ile mzuri ni 2500 lakini ikiwa na hizo Vines, sweet potato vines, tumekata bei sana kwa sababu ile protein iko kwa ndeli mimi na ipata kwa shamba yangu. Wamenifunza mambo na kuweka silage. Silage ya yenye imefundwa na silage chopper ndio ikuwe mzuri. Alafu nikipanda mahindi na na nikuwa na excess. Hata hiyo sweet potatoes nikuwa na excess naweka silage ya sweet potato vines ndio ngombe ikiwa mingi inaendelea kutumia tena kwa shamba We have footprints all over Kenya Kigali Rwanda Dar es Salaam in Tanzania Fort Portal in Uganda Kano in Nigeria Away in South Sudan Hagaisa in Somaliland and the list is growing We are a certified cow signal trainer in Africa 
Tanlop provides advisory services, technical support, and appropriate technologies to its dairy clients, organizations, and dairy stakeholders in an aim of adding value to dairy investments in Africa. We build partnerships with uh, some of the best uh, companies in the world, like the MGT in Israel, some uh, in Turkey, where they produce some of the best milking machines, milking parlors, uh, TML uh, uh, mixing wagons, all these equipments that we use in a dairy farm. And then we are able to supply them to our partners and our, our clients so that we are able to add value to the dairy investments. The challenges that we've been facing as a company is the change of mindset. Most of the farmers and investors are, comp uh, are conservative. It doesn't matter your political status, your social status, your intellectual status. The made set and we need to change from the old production systems to the new production systems where we do dairy farming as a business. Our rates are very good. We give the best uh, prices in the market and uh, we also offer after sales support. We are able to to support our clients and move with them even over training and commissioning of those equipment. COVID-19 has been a blessing in this case because most of the farmers have been telephone farmers. Most of the people have taken uh, daily farming as a side hustle. But now it seems like uh, quite a number of people have lost their livelihoods, they have lost jobs. And right now they are taking dairy farming as a main hassle. We are getting many calls for farm audits, uh, farm trainings, uh, construction of cow barns. So uh, we would say that uh, the business is booming actually right now. Our engagement process is very simple. A farmer just calls uh, our office and we are able to do uh, what we call know your client. We are able to determine the size of the farm, the distance where the farm is, and then we are able to apportion a cost to that, which we charge a professional fee, and a modest logistic uh, mobilization fee, and we are able to come and add value. In most cases, most of our services are extremely affordable because our main impact is not to make profit. Even as a company, as much as we want to make profit, we also want to make more impact than profit. mission is to make Africa's dairy industry globally competitive. Tanlo, your dairy consulting partner.